In an effort to improve sepsis management, the organization is implementing the Stoner Sepsis Management Advisor. The St. John Sepsis Algorithm constantly monitors patient data and identifies potential sepsis patients. It fires real-time alerts to nurses when SIRS, sepsis, or septic shock criteria are met. The nurse assesses the patients, then notifies the physician of the patient status. When criteria is met, the system will fire a discern alert to the nurse having an inactive relationship with the patient. The alert will fire to the nurse even if they are not in the same patient's chart. The system will also fire an order and a task for the nurse to complete. In Care Compass, a red triangle will appear for high-risk alerts. Clicking on the triangle will show what alerts have fired for this patient. In the ED, the room column will turn red and the alert will be in white text. The task can be completed via the Care Compass task list for inpatient or the ED launch point for ED patients. If already in the patient's chart, the task can be completed in the activities and interventions. The task will open up the Provider Notification Activity View. Please indicate the type of alert received and fill in the rest of the pertinent information. Physician is prompted to use the Sepsis Management Advisor to treat and manage the patient in compliance with the Surviving Sepsis Bundle. In the ED, SERS or Sepsis Alerts will show in red in the Room column and indicate the type of alert in white text. When the provider opens the patient chart, they will be greeted with this alert. The alert will then indicate the criteria met that caused the alert. Clicking on Launch Advisor will start the Sepsis Management Advisor module. The advisor has three sections, Evaluate Patient Risks, Select Recommendations, and Document and Sign. Current State provides information on criterion for the alert and what type of alert was triggered. It also contains patient sepsis information, including allergies, relevant labs, the last 90 days of antibiotics, and the last three sets of vital signs within the last 96 hours. The Suspected Infection Sources section is a required section to launch the DHR Pharmacy antibiotic recommendation. The ones marked with the red asterisk indicate that there's another required associated factor field that needs to be addressed if selected. All infection factors flex based on the patient's age. Under Select Recommendations, all active antibiotic orders will appear here with the ability to discontinue them with the click of a button. Creatinine clearance will display if present and will populate the renally adjust dose using field. You may only select one dosing selection here. Antibiotic recommendations display based on the clinician's choices for infection source and infection factor and are localized per DHR's formulary. Options for pertinent studies, labs, cultures, and radiology orders are here for quick selections. It will indicate if some of the studies were recently completed or if there is already an active order in place. The vasopressor section displays only if septic shock is selected under current state. Here, you can review all selections prior to signing. Clicking here can add the diagnosis based on sepsis level selected. Click on Sign Orders to go to Scratchpad then sign. When receiving the sepsis open chart alert, clicking on open chart allows you to open the patient's chart without running the sepsis advisor. However, it will alert you again the next time you open the patient's chart. You also have the ability to document reasons not indicated if appropriate. Selecting these reasons will suppress the sepsis alerts for a number of hours depending on the reason selected. If a higher level of alert criteria is met, this overrides the suppression and alerts the provider and nurse. For patients under 18 years of age, the provider will not have an advisor to use yet, but they will be able to launch the PD sepsis power plan by clicking here. The provider may also launch the advisor ad hoc by ordering the sepsis advisor order. Thank you. For any questions, please call number 27799.